Okay, good afternoon, um, Collective. Um, I have a couple of, all right, well, it's extended. This is about Mama Dukes, my mom. Uh, what, part it, what part she played and what manipulation she did. This was it revealed to me from the divine, and I'm exposing it. Um, again, like I said, my mom did a blood sacrifice. My Both my parents did it, but my mom was in too. Um, they're both guilty of knowing to what they paid for, a service of a hitman breaking into my home to beat me, kidnap me, hogtie me, and blindfold me, sell me to an overseas sex trafficking, and then kill me. My mother is uh, feeling grief, guilt, and, and depression. That was the energy that I was feeling when I had um, got the download. And this is what she did. Um, there was a death in the family. And it was a distraction. Um, car she did, uh, she worked black magic she got it done or she worked it she prayed she hummed she chanted however she she got it done she did it um i believe she did two car wrecks um she did a spell on a drinking problem um the cause for me to go to jail she organized a street crime um to set me up to get locked up um it was a distraction from the hitman. So while this, all of this is going on that she sent, she sent all of this to set it up around where I'm at. This is to keep me from figuring out who's actually working, who's the ringleader. And I had, you know, I had to learn how to fill out the energy through discernment and going over it and studying. Like I said, I had to figure out who was the person that was doing this to me. So it was mainly my mother. Um, she had she played a big part in it. Um, there was a time where I was having multiple car. I had six car wrecks in one year, and I was pregnant with my daughter. I was like four months pregnant, and I remember it was in winter time, and we was going up an icy hill, and it was it was cars that was sliding down the hill, and. I remember my husband telling me to, to bear down and just let him hit me. And I'm like, that don't even make sense. Why would you say some dumb sh I had <laughs> Why would you say some nonsense like that? And it never made sense to me. But I, I just, I, I, now I know that he was in on it. Okay. He just was in for the money. Um, anyway, uh, what else did she do? Yeah, uh, she she did. She had somebody to mess with his car, to break his um brake line to the car. Mess with the um, what is this? Yeah, mess. Uh, God darn it, she was messing with my mental, my emotions by keeping me clouded, trying to block my judgment and and still. My intuitive messages that I be getting, but you, she couldn't, she can't do that. She might have like delayed or put a fuzzy thing up, but I mean, my heart was already with God and my contract is stronger than whatever she was doing. So anyway, my mom is, she's very dark and she's very evil, jealous hearted and serene as well as my father. She is a black widow. That is the spirit that she operates under. She is what you would think under. She hides under the radar. She, you look at her and she does not look like a deceptive, evil person. She looks like she's very meek. She's very humble. She's very uh, motherly. She's very nurturing. But her true character is not this standing, uplifting, logical, and, you know, educated person. She's actually using her education to manipulate and confuse and steal ideas and harvest energy and sacrifice her own children to gain money because this woman can't maintain money. She Every time she gets her hands on money, it's being stolen from her. 
She can't maintain a balance. She's giving it away to other people and not even paying attention that she's actually being manipulated. They're all manipulating each other. And while she's stealing from me, robbing Peter to pay Paul, they're doing that to her. And she knows it. And she thinks that she's going to overcome that by stealing from other people just to have it stolen from you. It doesn't even make sense. And then you... She has this character of low self-esteem. My mother lets my dad do whatever he want. He ran over her and she did it for money. It was like she was satisfied with knowing the fact that her husband was gay. And she was his mustache and she was satisfied with being connected with somebody that was not good for her. Knowing that he never felt the way that she felt about him. And she endured that. And she was expecting me to stay in a marriage that's like that. And it's karmic at that. Like the the Lord showed me that my mom was very envious and jealous and evil. And mean and serene. But she's a school teacher. She gives off the impression that, that she loves children. But really she hates children. Because if I'm if I came out of her rotten... I'm sorry. If I came out of her womb that was polluted and dark. And I'm nothing like her. I'm nothing like her. I'm not cut from the same cloth. <laughs> it's deeper than what you think. My mom is not my mother. My mother is an ancestor that had to be chopped off. And it has a lot to do with the spiritual generational curse that I am assigned to. But that is later on that I get permission to actually go within that. I'm going to study some more and let the Lord lead me on that one. Okay. But in the physical, yes, that is my mother. And uh, she came back. All right. Let's put it to you like that. Uh, my mom also got jumped on by my father's demons because she knew he was possessed and she just kept catering to his mess. So she opened up to, and all of them was operating out of greed and envy. OK, anything to just keep a bag. And then she's been stealing money from me for years. OK, and she wanted to keep this hidden. She did not want me to know about her working together with my father to cut me off, to kill me, to, to take my happiness away from me, to leave me in stagnancy, to never have love in my life, to never have money, for me to be a beggar, for me to always come for them for comfort, for me to always come to them and then be, a, be at arm's reach for them, for them to control me. They want me to be their personal servant. They didn't want me to have a new life. They didn't want me to wake up to my spiritual path. They did not want me to elevate. They didn't want me to find out about what they were doing. And again, all they had to do was just confess the truth to me when it first was approached. In the, what do you call that? In the privacy of, of a room. I, it all would have been forgiven and I would have still released you, but it would have been done and over with but y'all have been over and y'all went over and beyond to make sure that this beautiful gym right here me unique i'm vivacious you took my kindness for weakness i am very smart and intelligent very and very confident i actually has been been like this my whole entire life but the manipulation that you worked on me since i was six years old has finally it's melting. I'm unthawing and I'm I'm waking up to the BS of what you did. Okay, so anyway, it says uh aka teacher crying slumbered um selling they home uh trying to run from the FBI knowing uh she the family reported a fake statement about somebody Somebody's brother got killed and he has dreads. My mom literally I'm collective. My mom is this is my mother's stuff. My mom is literally taking things out of my journal 
of what I'm relaying to you right now, giving you clarification that this was not her idea. This was not her. This was not her download. This was not her connection with the divine. This is my mom was going behind my back every time I stepped out. I said in my other videos now. My mom waited until I left with my children. She went upstairs in my drawer and she went through my journal and she was writing down whatever she could by a time limit because my ancestors only let me be out after a certain time. I, I was under true hard to find surveillance. So I had to move when I had to move. All right. And the Lord was telling me the divine was letting me know. Your mom is going through your things when you're not home. And, I, and, and I'm about to clarify that for you. Okay. Anyway, it says uh, family secrets. She was looking for family secrets. She wanted to see if I knew about the blood sacrifice. She wanted to know if I knew about the money that they were stealing. She wanted to know about the baby that was being abused in the family. She, uh, she wanted to know if my dad uh, wanted to kill me. Um, she wanted to know if I knew about my dad wanting to kill me for money and uh, and they was working with the higher ups to do it. And this was going they was going to kill me. And this was a undercover cop that was involved. Possibly one of my family members is an undercover cop. He, he just didn't want, want nobody to know. I don't know. At that time, I think his name was Ronald or something like that. Um, Yeah, he's a, he's a security guard. I don't know. Uh, But this is what I was being led to let you know. The security guard uh, about to die. You, your blood sacrifice for what he did last summer. So whatever... My dad did last summer. Um, he also sacrificed um, my cousin, Jawan. So if you are a security guard, Jawan, my dad and my mom sacrificed you as a blood sacrifice uh, last summer. So if you was going through anything that was like offset or something, or if you was going through unnecessary karma, it was probably projected to you and your wife. Or if you're going through karma now, it's because either it was a blood sacrifice was worked on you or you worked a blood sacrifice last summer and you're about to die. So, okay. And uh, here's another. An, oh, yeah. This is going back to my mom. Uh, my mom. Uh... My mom's connection with me was one-sided. My uh, the mother energy was upset because she invest invested in communication that would result in spending time together. This is at the time that when me and my mom uh when my mom was staying with me um last December, and she literally got caught in the action of her doing a whole bunch of stuff in my house, and the Lord. The divine was telling me to keep quiet and just, you know, observe her because she already got a hearing problem and she didn't even know. At one point I was standing right behind her while she was screenshotting pictures of my desk and my chair. And then she actually thought that I was dumb enough not to know that when she was recording me on her phone, she was actually holding the phone up at, at, at like chest reach, like right here. Like she was holding it, holding the phone right here in front of her and she was talking to me and and I'm looking at her following me while I'm walking. I'm just sitting there. Just I'm like, all right, well, we're going to play cat and mouse because she think I'm stupid and I'm not. This ain't that. I already knew you was up to no good. I just was feeding off your energy to pull the truth out of you because you're a liar. Um. Anyway, uh. This is another message about the workings with uh, Roger. My mom was working with Roger, and she did this uh, in the process to kill my dad. Oh, uh, no, to kill her brother. I'm sorry. Um, so the karmic male Roger, 
okay? Connected to, uh, he's connected to a robbery, a homicide. They are two females, 35, ages 45, spiritual hit woman. Um, it's a karmic cousin, karmic friend, and a karmic neighbor. The house, uh, houses are under surveillance. All of, all kinds of family included, um, cars as well. And, um... I don't know what that is. Your karmic name. Oh, yeah. And your relationships. Everybody that you're connected to is under surveillance and everybody is being watched. And I told you that the FBI is watching. Okay. But um, since they're watching this, I'm just going to follow through with reading this. The wife, daughter, and son knows about a murder, thinking about what happened Sitting up, setting up the man, which is the husband. The woman paid for a service to kill her husband for money. The woman paid for a break, a break in to receive some, oh, to retrieve some type of paperwork. The daughter has, uh, oh, the daughter has, and she knows about it. And, yeah, she knows about what the mom is doing, working together all over insurance money, wills, trust funds, life insurance that was left. The man went to change what was in the will, and he put his children in it so that they can be financially okay. The wife flew a younger male in from out of town to kill him. Okay. Somebody's wife put a hit out on her husband. You're going to get caught. You're under surveillance. Love and light.